Welcome to this short tutorial on setting up your Eclipse um, code templates or comment templates so that it will more easily pass check the ICS check style. So first off, I want to open my preferences, go to Java, oops, Java, code style, code templates, and I'm going to deal with the comments. I don't need to do anything for the code. So the first thing is, out of the box, Eclipse is going to want to give you this comment at the beginning of every file. That's great if you're putting, you know, file name and um, copyright information and any licensing stuff. But for ICS 111, we don't care, so we're just going to edit it, and we don't need anything in that. If I want to add it, I might make a template that has my name and copyright myself or whatever. Um, but for 111, we don't need that. For each type, we want a sentence at the beginning of every Java.com comment that ends in a period because CheckStyle is looking for that beginning sentence. So we need to edit this type. And so this is the type or a class so I need a sentence, and so a class represents something. So I will just say a or an, and then I need to insert a variable, and I want to say the type name. So if I'm in um, the class student, this will say represents a student. Um, may need to edit it to make it more grammatically correct if the, your class starts with a vowel. Um, but that's easy to do. Um, and then I need a blank line before the author tag. And then by default, they're going to use my username. And that's not really what I want because often usernames aren't really nice and um, they're abbreviated and they're all sorts of things. So I'm going to replace username with my name. And that looks a lot nicer than whatever random username I'm on. Um, and then it includes the tags, so that's good. Fields, that's for any public uh, variables. Don't need to worry about them. Constructors, constructors create instances of the class. So I want to have a sentence here. And then I want to say something like creates a new, and then I need to, what new student, new whatever, so I want to insert the enclosing type, so that will be, since constructors are inside of the class, the enclosing type is the class, put my period, and then a blank line before the tags, and that looks good. Uh, methods, I need a sentence here, but I don't know what the sentence is going to be, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, overriding methods done, delegate methods, that's fine. Again, I'm going to want a sentence here. Getters, getters return a value of a variable or a, a member variable. So I want a sentence here. So I'm going to edit it. And basically the sentence could be something like returns the, and then it, their field name, Oops, period. So Chuck Sales happy. And then I want the at return. It's good. Again, I want a sentence. So I'll say sets the their field name, because that's the name of the variable, to insert, and then I want param. Period, something like that. Okay, don't need to change my modules. Fly and close, so let's create a new class. And we'll call it um, student. We'll put a main in there, we'll generate comments, finish. And so, if you take a look at how a world, we got an error 
with the package. We also have an error with the class declaration for student. We don't have the error in the package. We don't have an error in the student because we have our sentence here. We do have a check style error because we don't describe what the parameters are. So we need to say and then I need program or something like that. Save it and then we're good. Let's say if I have a private string name and I want to gen source generate getters and setters name it's public I want to generate the comments generate and you see that set name and get name there's a comment no check style errors life is great so if you set up your Eclipse and set up your comment templates Eclipse will do a lot of the work for you and make your life very easy. Thank you for watching this brief screencast.